G'day mate, welcome to episode 72 and a half of my Sub X series. So, we're standing up in this top corner because this pretty much represents how the week's gone. So, at the end of last week we launched uh, Taka. Taka was the last launch, um, all the way up here. And then since then we've launched, well... Just Patreons, just Patreons. Uh, Sias, I'm that guy, Jason, Bilbo, Sunken, uh, Adam, Elysium, Julie Jane, Hyperbite, I Hollywood, Ergphobia, and blah, 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 blah. Along with Galator. Um, Galator's actually a Twitch subscriber. I haven't really got the list of Twitch subscribers ready to go yet that I can go through and tick off the, the, the names one by one. But these are our two, well, our two lists. We also got a list over here for YouTube members. Again, I don't have that list up on my screen ready. So this is why I haven't been selecting names from the list. But at the same time, we ended last week's recap at 187 rockets. We're up to 301 and climbing. In fact, um, we ended last episode at 292, and I've literally spent like 20 minutes between episodes just, just doing uh, small tweak stuff that I, 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 I said I was going to do. And yeah, we've launched a couple of rockets at that time. So where to start? Where to start? Uh, first off, remove. Yeah, cool. Oh, crap. Uh, hang on, I need one bit of copper cable. One bit of intermediates. Copper cable. Turns out we auto trash copper cable. Cool. Alright, so. What's happened this week? What's happened this week? So, first off, let's start up here, um, just because this happens to be where we were. Our smelter racks were about this long, and I upgraded the beacons from our stock, stock beacon up to the factory extended Mark II beacons, which just doubles the amount of speed they can pass on to the smelters, which means that basically I, I, I was able to cut the smelters in half. Um, it's more of a UPS and a space saving than anything else. Um, didn't really... Oh, and also freed up a whole lot of speed threes and productivity threes out of the actual smelters themselves. But it also cleaned up all this space, um, which meant I could run a train line down. And I have run a train line down. Train line comes all the way down here. Uh, oh, hang on. We can't have some stone brick laying around. We need to re refine, refine concrete everywhere. Uh, which meant I could put in, not that, because that was uh, in the wrong place. Um, I could put in this. This is our unloading station for our rocket parts. Um, we did have an unloading station. We still do have an unloading station over here. This station's running perfectly fine. The catch is, it was a little bit far away. And the bots were doing some pretty insane travel time. So we just went and plopped down a brand new one. Uh, a little bit closer. Definitely closer to um, these solos up here, which, I, if you remember, do all the support of rockets, um, along with the main silo stack all the way down here. We still have robots flying all over, over the place, like this is where rocket fuel is. Obviously, it'd be nice if that was a lot closer as well. I could literally just belt it down, and that might be the end solution. Um, and we also have this one over here, because it doesn't hurt having extra. Um, honestly, it really doesn't hurt at all. So, uh, that was one of the things that got done this week. Um, on top of that, main bus line got some more tweaks. I think we had another red circuit belt. We rebuilt blue circuits and doubled it because I realized one purple belt being 75 items per second was enough to keep everything running. So we doubled it and now we have 150. One is still goes in the main bus. Uh, the second one actually comes over here and goes into our portable fusion reactors because that's one of the things still slowing up our SpaceX launches. We do have this blue circuit build, which just dedicate feeds into this. Um, we also have, in theory, a whole nother dedicated... 75 items per second coming down here potentially topping up the bus if it needs it but also coming over here to feed this so this has been had a, a healthy boost um same time we've had a healthy boost to our steel our steel went from one belt coming up from the south we just launched another rocket to three belts coming up from the south um three belts is probably enough to keep everything running we also added another belt here um, which is using the stacked steel recipe to make stacked, uh, with stacked copper to make stacked low density structures because that was another item we were having a lot of issues with this week. Um, not in the actual main base, but on the bus to actually run 
L energy shield back two, and again more portable fusion reactors. Uh, also, looks like this is starting to become an issue. Uh, we're gonna go with that into one of those. Um, this is the whole components. Don't forget, um, they require ten of these for every single rocket launched, and obviously we're launching a significant amount of rockets, so I need this to go faster. I need this to go faster so much. I'm going to give you some speed modules to make sure you definitely go faster much. Um, which has probably put another problem with my steel onto the bus. Or off the bus, rather. Uh, maybe I've made myself a low-density structure problem. I don't know. Uh, oh, I need to turn that back. Oop that back on okay so that was one of the changes that happened this week um along with what else did we change in the main base um did a lot of tweaks a lot of a lot of uh, odds and ends like turns out we hadn't been making mini me's for quite some time because when i upgraded the bus i didn't actually provide this an iron input so we chewed all the ones we had in storage um along with oh i upgraded gears make gears go a little bit faster as well um mainly because they were being choked out we have also done a half a dozen researches we have done a couple of artillery shell ranges i don't even know if they've had an impact whatsoever mm, not really from the looks of it um it's only really these two ore trains because everywhere else we've been literally just making something on site and then just you know using the local patches so artillery shell range really hasn't had that much of an impact um obviously i'm probably at the point i should really have a train that just pops around all the different outposts and parks there for a bit and lobs some artillery shells maybe that's a a plan for next week um so that's what we did up here um next things we did is we went down to we last week week before uh, we we upgraded uh low density structures because we didn't have nearly enough of them uh this week we had to upgrade rocket control units because we didn't have nearly enough of those um turns out with all the upgrades it's pretty much fine now um we upgraded all the beacons Yes, from Mark 1 to Mark 3, um, that made one hell of a difference. It also meant that this had to have a little bit of a, a rejiggle of how the belts ran, because um, we're now definitely filling up a whole belt. Uh, same time, this one, this one up here, needed, and it's what I just did, I actually went and upgraded these beacons to make sure the plastic ran fast enough. At the same time, I had to upgrade some of the beacons in here to make sure this ran fast enough. I actually had to loop the petroleum which those two pipes can go away. That can go away as well. Had to loop the petroleum um, up here, back in past the refineries and out to the tanks because it just didn't run otherwise. And I'm thinking maybe this is going to cause me problems. I don't know. We'll find out in the future. Um, so yeah, that got an upgrade as well. But the major project, the major project for this week, which we might even take a train ride down to go say hello to. Uh, put that there, please was something we started last week and I'd like to say got finished this week, but it didn't get finished. It didn't get finished. It's up, it's running, but it still has a long way to go. Um, we needed, we, we're making productivity modules, as you can see from my inventory, productivity module sixes at a decent rate. We have changed over a lot of our internal module production from spare what's in the network over to speed modules, but it's still not enough. And actually looking at the base these didn't upgrade uh is it that one nope that's a downgrade planner upgrade planner yep uh oh you don't have iron that'd do the trick every time yeah uh so, we finally got this up and running. Now, this is a little bit of a helter skelter of everything. Um, this is making, using the stacked recipes, making speed module sixes. That's its main goal in life. As you can see, a, a stack of speed module sixes takes 12,000 seconds to craft. So, we have beacons passing on 100% of uh, their modules into, well, if we hover over a beacon, 
It's putting it into four assemblers. So it actually pays off better to put the speed modules into the beacons only because they pass over 100% of their um, effectiveness. Yeah, put the speed modules in the beacons rather than to, to, into the assemblers. But this has been upgraded, built, and tweaked, I guess, this week. Um, hmm. Yeah, still got a while ago. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, this has been tweaked this week. Um, I will finish off and tweak this week. So this is green circuits into red circuits, uh, along with copper into red circuits as well. Plastic from all the way down here on our pretty little custom plastic builds, which is just literally refinery, basic oil into uh, two chemical plants, outputting all the plastic you can dream, shoved onto a belt, merged all together with, what, eight? refineries i think it is um onto a single purple belt of stacked plastic to run up to here so this is an insane amount of production we have coming up here because every single one of these icons is actually like 25 red circuits every single bit of plastic is actually 25 plastic so it adds up really quickly um catch is all the machines take 25 times as long to do a single crafting cycle so you know you win some you lose some so um, as I said, this is making our, our red circuits. We also have a separate green circuit build, which I just went and tweaked and gave a kick in the pants to run down into speed module ones to then run into speed module twos. Actually, let's just go over there. And actually, whilst we're here... the belt needs a small upgrade uh even at 75 items per second it's still not gonna be fast enough to feed all these but that, that's a separate problem we're gonna fix probably next week so this is doing speed module ones in the stacked recipe so they take you know 375 seconds crafting time rather than your normal speed ones take 15 seconds 15 seconds so 25 times as long to then make speed module uh, speed module twos again stacked recipe to then make hang on we'll find a gap i've marked in row reports to make speed module threes in a stacked recipe to then make speed module fours to then make speed module fives to then make a single speed module six at twelve thousand seconds crafting time um but it is a stack of 25 which we then uncompress if there is not um well if there's less than 10 speed modules in this network uh because i still need to use them to well finish upgrading the green circuits here finish upgrading these green circuits here to make sure this runs a little better bit better also as said next week if we run max rate calculator down all the module one build which ends here we see I need 40 red circuits and 40 green circuits per second. Um, obviously, a belt that moves 75 items per second, that's not going to be possible. So I need to tweak this build somehow to get the extra red circuits down here and the extra green circuits down here. It should be fairly easy, he says. Um, it should be just a case of splice this off and patch that in here and splice off some red circuits and patch them in here. It should be easy. It, well, actually, you know what? It should be so easy that I'm just going to go do it right now. Uh, green circuits seem to die around about here. If I do... That. And then if I do... This is red circuits only. If I do that, that should work. Should work. Looks like it's working. Looks like it's working pretty good. Okay, so this makes a crap ton of speed modules. Um, the catch is the whole assemblers are still running speed module threes. They're using sixes in the beacons, but just three in the machine. So it does mean that technically this can get significantly faster um which hasn't happened yet you know these have a speed of 170 percent compared to the speed of 50 percent so yeah this whole build can get significantly faster and 
probably will next week next week i have a feeling um hopefully we've put enough speed modules back into this build we're down down to just 60 on request that hopefully we can get this topped right the way up and run at full speed um what else has happened this week uh this week obviously as you can see from the stats there's been many 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 rocket launches uh let's go back to main base uh, preferably with no speed sixes on my inventory because I don't really want to spend them. Um, we've had significant amount of rocket launches, but we're still having issues with parts. Our fast and light drives, even though we were making them off site, um, which is running reasonably quickly, we were also making them. There we go. I'm here. Jump out of that. Uh, we were also making them. Right here, right here in the middle of the base. Uh, looks like we're actually short on productivity modules. Yes, because I've set these uh, very, very high. If we have over 1.1K productivity threes in stock, which will probably never happen. Uh, module 950 and speed threes are 550. Yep. Uh, speed threes get used in all sorts of builds, which were well, all sorts of SpaceX parts. So, in fact, actually, each SpaceX part uh, requires uh, four thrusters at 50 speed modules each. So that's 200 speed modules. Plus, it requires a. Uh, command center, that's 250 speed modules, plus it requires an astrometrics lab, which is uh, 300 speed modules, then it requires the fast and light drive, which is another 500 modules. So we need 800 speed modules per sub X launch, and as you can see, we've done 307 minus the few Patreon launches, which are even more expensive, so a significant amount of launches. Consequently, this is having issues running. Um, actually, if we're going to set that down to... What are you set to? 450. I'm going to set you to 550. Uh, so, this is where we stand at the end of this week. Um, obviously, next week we're going to have to do... Oh, oh, we're going to have to do a lot more upgrades and changes to the base. Um, on top of that, we're having an issue with just too much space science. Yes! I can't believe I'm saying this, but we actually have too much space science coming into the base. Um, by all means, click the subscribe button, because I'd still appreciate it to every single person that does click the subscribe button. Every single subscriber, um, which is the theme of this, this, this base in this series, is every single subscriber gets their own uh, SpaceX spaceship. On top of that, every uh, supporter of the channel, so that being a Patreon supporter, a Twitch subscriber, or a YouTube member, which is not written up here yet, uh, also get their own very, very expensive version of a spaceship along with the stock one for being a subscriber you, you, you get a bonus you get a bonus i appreciate it twice, twice as much so therefore you get twice as many rockets or possibly as a few people have found out they get three or four because they've gone on through and done each type of membership to get four rocket yeah four spaceships um anyway as i was saying um the other thing we had to do this week is we had to limit our amount of space science so now we're no longer launching uh satellites unless this buffer box on space science actually gets below 20k because we're having a situation where we just can't spend the stuff fast enough um we have been running science non-stop but as you can see, there's a significant amount of resources going into science and we're burning off and we're up to mining productivity 140 with artillery range like five. That's not big numbers. That's, that's just a, it is a number. Uh, we might want to double buffer that. Yes, uh, double buff for that. That's definitely on the plans. Um, so yeah, that that's where we're up to this week. Um, we're also, because so many people have requested, I am upgrading solar slowly. Um, solar is limited by two things, actually. It's limited by titanium, which we're also launching to space, which is one of the reasons why we're short on it. Uh, although it looks like we finally found titanium. Maybe just need to request more. That seems like a better answer. Um, yeah, we... 
We are slowly upgrading our solar panels, but the each upgrade takes time to do, and that's basically what's holding up everything at the moment. They just take a lot of time. Also, these don't turn on. Uh, we, we don't start... We don't start making uh, basic satellites unless we have more than... Or basic solar panels unless we have more than a thousand solar panels in stock. And again, it's limited by just the amount of resources I want to throw at the problem. Um, honestly, I don't want to throw that many resources at solar panels and accumulators. So we're not. So it doesn't run t terribly fast. Anyway... I think that's it for this week recap. Um, it's been a hell of a week. It's been an interesting week. We have slowly fixed our uh, protection field problem, which was caused by Energy Shield Mark IIs. We still definitely have a fusion reactor problem, which is still caused by portable fusion reactors, which is blue circuits and low density structures. And again, that looks like a blue circuit problem. Um, so it's going to be something we're going to have to go look at next week again. Whether I can find more blue circuits, which is probably caused by a shortage of red circuits. Which is caused by, I don't know. Just sheerly, I just can't get them from A to B fast enough. I think that's the problem. I need to put in an express transport route to go from A to B and ignore the main bus section because um, we're decompressing it to then recompress it um, whereas if we just ran it straight it'd stay compressed the whole time what else oh and fast and light drives fast and light drives we did get up to like 80 or 90 in stock and we're all the way down to 30 in stock again so um fast and light drives is something that we're we're going to continuously continuously fight with as the series continues um as for launches i do need to go over everybody from 290 uh so i need to thank uh paul styles mark shiner uh vander w awesome nope uh 295 296 sam go grown vend uh rob master why are you not in any sort of order? 298. Haha! Uh, Reptica! Uh, Dan McRae! Carl, Carl Vernstein! Jimmy Jensen! Uh, Nerd Game The! Cool, because you couldn't spell it, spell it, couldn't have it around the right way! Uh, Laurie Bringla! Uh, the Sadavadas, I have no idea, uh, but I appreciate the subscription nonetheless. Uh, Rotomo, Dilated, uh, Kurt Winkins, Dana, Diana Bruce, um, is that everybody, is that everybody, is that everybody? 309, 307, 3330, eight three oh nine yes nerd the game okay that is everybody so i thank every one of you for clicking that subscribe button uh, i thank you for all the space science you gave me before you got your 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 space x spaceship because that's another one with this uh with this series every single time i launch a spaceship we get the amount of rocket science we get uh is based upon total number of subscribers minus the ones that we've already launched so you know it's like, you know, six and a half, seven thousand science minus however many I've launched. Yeah, you get the picture. Anyway, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for watching this recap episode. I'm going to leave it here. Next week, we're going to have to look at bigger and better projects. Um, in theory, next week, this can start out exporting speed modules in a significant number, which should make one hell of a difference. It means we can start... Um, because we've been building things at like tier after tier after tier. In theory, next week, hopefully we'll be in a situation where I can just start, you know, building things full of Beacon Mark 3s and Speed Module Mark 6s and uh, Productivity Module Mark 6s as well. Actually, next week I think we need to do something like this for productivity modules because that will become probably the new bottleneck. Um, but we'll see. Either way, like I said, I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next week's going to be interesting as always. And I'll see you in next week's episode. All right. Bye.